through the years I've overheard people say things like, it's hard to imagine what it must be like to be the parent of a perfectly normal child who then becomes autistic. Instead, they should try to imagine being that child. Imagine a world that doesn't make sense anymore. A world that has become intensely uncomfortable and you can't explain what's going on. A lot of times with autism, parents and doctors think a child has developed hearing problems because he or she doesn't respond when spoken to. Look at this video of me when I was almost six years old. What you doing, Tay? Taylor Crow, look right here at the camera. Taylor. What you making? What you making, sweetie? Let's look at that scene again. There's something else to notice. Even when I make eye contact, it's only for an instance. Eye contact is hard to do when you're autistic. I had to practice eye contact for years, and I still struggle with it. Seeing that particular video clip makes me realize how hard it must have been for my brother, too. When I was a preschooler, before I had any speech therapy, I would hardly talk at all, unless I was upset. But here's something very interesting. Certain activities made it much easier for me to talk. My parents discovered that swinging would relax me and allowed me to communicate more easily. In those days, when the swinging stopped, my talking stopped. Now watch this. Here I am a few minutes later, not swinging. Hi, Taylor. I'm not talking and I'm not responding to Dad. Hi, Taylor. Here I am later, the same day, swinging again and talking again. And there's Taylor back on a swing, one of his favorite things to do. Even as an adult, I still like to swing and I still enjoy certain carnival rides. They feel good and relax me. This is interesting because many scientists who have studied autism say it's a disorder of the senses. In fact, much of the treatment for autism is aimed at working with the different senses. Earlier you saw the video clip where it seemed like I wasn't able to hear. Actually, I could hear very well, sometimes too well. Certain sounds bothered me. Here's an example. I love parades. I never wanted to miss one, but sometimes the sounds were overwhelming. The sense of smell can be affected in autism too. Look at this video of me coming to my grandparents' house for my seventh birthday. I didn't want to sneak a taste. I wanted to smell the cake instead. Sometimes the sense of touch was hard on me too. Hugging was often uncomfortable. In fact, just being touched was a problem. A lot of people with autism will flap their arms at times, which seems to have something to do with stimulating senses that aren't working properly. Look at this. Taylor, roll it outside and see if you can ride it. There they go. There they go. Repeating exactly word for word what is said to you is called echolalia. I did this a lot. Sometimes it's the only language an autistic person is capable of. Four balls. Four balls. Four balls. Four balls. Four balls. Every person with autism has some form of difficulty with communication. In my case, I went from having normal speech as a two-year-old to hardly being able to talk at all.